All right, some of you guys may remember a little over a year ago, I built this and it was meant to originally be mounted to the back of the truck. And uh, what you saw uh, at the beginning of the video here is, uh, we'll take a look, um, uh, you know, how we uh, duplicated the receiver hitch on the back of the table here and left it a little bit high so we can, you know, use the table to, uh, you know, for uh, drop off and that kind of thing. Uh, we also finished drilling some holes that we started uh, back then and uh, these extra holes are just, you know, if we're just using this section of the, of the, um, of the brake, you know, we can put a bolt here and that way we've got a lot more rigid clamping than just from here. Um, and then also same thing, um, you know, you saw we uh, worked on welding that uh, strap here in the center, because uh, I noticed with thicker material when you would pull up on it, uh, this, this bar would want to separate just from the, you know, the torque. So, uh, but you know, that round bar being in there is not really affecting anything. It's, it's, you know, working and, you know, bending everything just fine with it. So we got a pretty good 90 on it there. And you know, the bend is not super crisp. Um, but for this, uh, most of the stuff I do around here, that's that's going to be good enough, um, it, and it just never has been crisp. So um, anyway, we've got one more thing to make, uh, so we can make this a little bit more versatile and use it as a finger brake to to make a box basically. And uh, so we're going to do some machining real quick on that. We'll come back and show you how that works when we're done with that. All right, well, you see, I'm, this is just practicing. I'm actually gonna use this uh, for something on one of my toolboxes, but for now, I'm just practicing for a real project that I wanna do. And um, you can see this brake works pretty good, you know, for uh, bending up the ends there. Got some pretty square cuts, although they're a little more rounded than I want them to be. But for what I'm doing, it's gonna actually work out pretty good that it's not a crisp bend like that. So, um, so I can't really bend this up, right? Because these are gonna hit into that. So you saw earlier, I made this, and I know what size my drawers are gonna be, the, the boxes for the upcoming project, and, um, 18, and a, 18 and an eighth inches wide. So we made this uh, you know, finger die, basically, uh, to be able to convert this over to a finger break. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this in. All right, well, got a little bit of work to do before I make the real piece to see if I can, what I need to do to eliminate these gaps on the ends. Um, I'm guessing I need to uh, undercut each one by just a little bit. 
instead of cutting on the line, cut you know just before the line. But I think I can make this work, push these in, tighten them in a little bit, and uh, get it welded up. All right, this is one of my go-to drawers here when I'm out here working on metalworking projects, fabrication and stuff like that. Uh, I got pins, squares, measuring tapes, all that stuff. I mean, I use this stuff constantly. And uh, the problem with it, it's all kind of lightweight and it's a lot of it's round. And these drawers open and close and they, everything goes to the back and it's kind of hard to find what I need. So with this box pretty heavyweight and it's going to hold itself up in the front and uh, stay right where I need it keep the pin separate I can go right to what I need so anyway uh, I'm fairly happy with how the box turned out I mean it's not perfectly square but the drawers that I'm making on this industrial furniture you know I mean find me any cabinet anywhere you know that's got a square drawer on it but um, We'll look to refine this over time. We got to get some better equipment. That break I've got is just, uh, you know, it's homemade. It's going to do a decent job. But um, so uh, anyway, a couple more days, I should have the drawers done. We'll have a video for you on that, and then uh, you know, a week after that, we'll have the whole uh, the whole project finished up. So all right, thanks everybody. Appreciate it.